Breaking right now at 4 o'clock, a Pennsylvania state lawmaker is stepping down in the wake of sexual harassment allegations. Delaware County Democrat Mike Zabel submitted his letter of resignation after a fellow lawmaker accused him of sexual harassment today. He's also accused of sexually harassing a union lobbyist four years ago. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Brian Tapp. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is the resignation of State Representative Mike Zabel. Two women have now publicly come forward with allegations of sexual harassment. The lawmaker refused to resign last week. Action News reporter Annie McCormick has been following this story for the last several days now. She's live outside Zabel's office in Drexel Hill. Annie, you've got the details right now. Yeah, and Brian, this newest accusation came today from a state house representative, a Republican from Armstrong County, Abby Major. She made the announcement today during a press conference on International Women's Day. She said that she too was sexually harassed by Zabel. Here is what she said during that press conference a short time ago. On this particular evening, Representative Zabel and I were standing near each other at the bar. I was attempting to pay my tab when he began to tell me how fantastic I looked, how he could really tell that I'd lost a lot of weight and that I just looked great. I told him thank you, but he continued pressing the issue, eventually putting his arm around me and touching my back. He then asked me if I wanted to get out of here and go upstairs. That is going to create a major health crisis. Now that's the newest accusation. Zabel's a Democrat serving Delaware County for about the past five years. Now Majors is yet another accuser to come forward with such claims. Last week, Andy Perez, a longtime lobbyist for SEIU, which is a very politically active and powerful union, seen here testifying during a listening tour. She also came forward during that time with sexual harassment claims, initially not saying who was behind them later last week, saying that it was in fact Zabel. Well, today, Zabel sent his resignation letter to Speaker Joanna McClinton. Now, Zabel's re resignation will become effective on March 16th. Right now, the Democrats have a razor thin majority right now. Without Zabel's resignation, it's 102 Democrats to 100 Republicans. When Zabel's resignation does become effective, it will be 101 Democrats to 100 Republicans. That is in part because a state house Republican left her seat to take a Senate Republican seat after winning a special election. Now, that special election for that seat is now slated for the May 16th primary. Speaker McClinton just made that announcement. She cannot announce when the special election will be for Zabel's seat until his resignation is in effect. But it will likely also be on the primary day, May 16th as well. More to come. We're now reporting live in Drexel Hill. Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News.